What's everybody? Crypto muscle. Oh, multi fire rapid laser. You know why? Because I'm just gonna shoot holes in the theory of the burning tree once again. Yes. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, put my boot on the neck once again and call it like I see it because. It's all about the truth in crypto, and that's what you guys are not seeing, right? You're being blinded by false facts, and that's what I do. I bring out the facts in crypto because I swing and yield the biggest hammer in the space, and I like to swing and bash away at, well, idiots in crypto. I like to smash away at people that are fake and uh, there's a lot of fake ones out there that are just so damn fake. And so stupid, too, by the way. So anyhow, let me look at the market here. I mean, you know, looks like it's starting to kind of flatten out a little bit now. Right? So is that a good thing? Possibly. But let's keep this in mind. Binance coin is $400. All right, let's just keep that in mind for a second here. I want you to keep that in mind because... We're going to go right into the burning tree. It's going to burn down once again like it did the first time. Like I called it the first time. When I said that this shit is going to burn down. This shit won't even last to the end of the year. And look what happens. It did because you pulled the contract. Now let's dig in a little bit deeper. Zero sum game because you try to say it isn't. But it really was because when you look at it. The last few people that joined in on BNB and Eminem, ask them, ask those people, did you make that money back, the 10 in, 10 out that they had to take out? And the answer is no. They did not make that money back. You know why? Why? Because, retards, that they were the last ones in and you decided to pull the contract. That means that they did not get that 20% back. Even the 10% that they had to pull out. Alright. So did they make money? No. They lost money. But you don't want to convince yourself that it's a zero sum game. And it was a zero sum game. So that's a fact. Here's another fact. That this whole new BNB contract. Is just an on ramp to a platform. Where you're in complete control of all funds. To do whatever you want. This time for a steep 20%. So a steep 20%, I mean, when you think about it, that's pretty big. It might not sound big. You try not to make it sound big, but 20% is big. 10% goes to the team. Wow, that's uh, pretty crazy when you think about it. 20% goes to the team. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. So this is the old one. I'm not concerned about the old one. Let's look at this new one. So... <laughs> I watched the AMA and dude doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh man, there's 300 some, there's 300 some B and B. There's a lot of interest in this. Uh, hello, but there's only 51 people. All right, 51 people is not a lot. And when you factor in that one person, the quote unquote whale, put in 200 of it, 182 in the end. Is not not a lot at all, all right, and not anywhere close to where it peaked at, all right. It peaked, and maybe it can in time, but when it peaked, it peaked at around 302, all right. Because I'm a historian, I like I liked I like to keep facts and history in check, and that's a fact, all right. At the most, it pe I'm sorry, I misstated, not 302, 304. That was the most in his contract. So, luckily, there's a 200, <laughs> there's a whale with 200 in here, which is fine. Because without that 200 whale, this thing is still full of shit. Regardless if he's in it or not. 51 is not a lot. Let's see, you peaked at the most? Is, uh, let's see here, what, 101, 102. You had 102 the max. Talk to me when you get back to that number. But 51 is not a lot of people. Alright. So. 
that is that. And then when you really break it down, so you got to lock it in for a week. Something they, oh, I don't want to lock in. I don't want to lock in my funds. But you got to lock it in. All right. And I mean, we could go on and on about the, this, you know, the fake stuff about this, right? I watched that Yenta, what's her name, Deconnected, because she's really <laughs> disconnected. All right. So I watched her, dumbass, <laughs> talk about, a, you know, for being a fake blonde, all right, She's really dumb, all right? So just think about it. So she tries to do a thing where she tries to put in, you know, money into this thing, right? B&B. It tries to put in two B&B. And it's like, you don't even have two B&B, bitch. Think about it. And when you looked at your MetaMask, it was clear to see that you only have point two, But he kept on trying to put in two. And then you kept on saying, well, I got to add in more, which you didn't do anyways. And you still try to... And then you had to really cut your video... To put in your little point two four, all right, that you say you're going to add more to, but you didn't. <laughs> and then, uh, so that was a fake, but real dumb blonde moment because when you look at it, point two is a big difference than two B and B, all right, big big difference. And on top of that, oh man, you try to pump this thing up like it's the greatest thing in the world. Oh man, you know I'm going to use a link and. You know, yay, 2% referrals, right? 2%, I'm going to give to you 2%. Think about it. On the best case scenario, you make 5% a week, all right? Because they said that you can make no more than 5% a week. Best case scenario, all right? 5% a week. So 5% a week, and you put in 0.24, um, what do you call it, BNB, so 0.24 BNB, which is almost a quarter of a BNB, is only like a hundred bucks. Not even a hundred bucks. Like it's like 96 bucks, and you make five percent. All right. So five percent in that week is roughly around four some bucks. All right. So now two percent of those four some bucks. You know what that is? You know what that comes out to? Fourteen cents. So, yeah, <laughs> referral shilling from a, you, a wannabe YouTuber because she still has a lot to learn. But 2% from a 4 bucks is only $0.14. Cents. Get out of here with that dust bunny bullshit, all right? Just get out of here with that. And so the only person that you'll really benefit from, if you're lucky, is if, you, if that whale supposedly will hit your link, right? Uh, but other than that, when you do the withdrawals, but other than that, you, you're still going to make dust money out of this thing because that's what this is. You're capping everybody off at 5% a week, which is not even 1% a day. All right, when you think about it, seven days a week, it's not even 1% a day. And so it's still dust money being <laughs> given to you guys, all right? Because probably when you look at the average person, I think the average person doesn't even have one total B and B in this thing, so all these little dust money earnings that you get is what you're really gonna get because the team gets 10% of that of all the stuff that comes in and all the withdrawals come out. I mean, they're gonna get dust money when people withdraw coming out to re-enter the contract and all that. 5% of cake, ah, eh, whatever. You know what? The cake has been holding still. No matter how much you try to put in and say, "Oh man, you bet you benefit the best when you go into cake." It's still the same 24 people that it's been for a very, very long time since the beginning, all right? It settled around 24, 25, right? I think it peaked at 25, and then it's been stuck at 24 cents. So that tells you one thing. No one cares, all right? And you can say what you want to say. Oh, man, this thing's going to be going for a long, long time. Well, you've already proven that you couldn't even last 30 days the first time around. And... And you guys were the dumbasses to say that, oh, you know, when, when I see something that doesn't look like it's going to work, I start doing something about it right away. I don't wait 30 days. Yeah, definitely. We already called that shit out long before that in the very beginning. And you couldn't even last 30 days. All right. So just saying. All right. It's just, it's just funny to me. All this, it's, this stuff is comical. You know what you guys talk about. So 
you know, at, at most, you're going to be pulling 5% a week. doesn't matter what you make out of the trading pool. It, it doesn't matter because 5% is what you're making in a week at most. What about when you get less than that? Think about that 0.24 that deconnected put in, all right? What if you don't make 5% in that week? What if it's less than that? And you use, as she clicks on your referral link to when she does her withdrawal, and that 14, it's not even 14 cents. It's probably like a couple pennies when you think about it. If it's less than 5%, because you're going to get 3% of those earnings. That's not a good thing. That's, that's a really tiny thing. All right. So all I got to say is you could dream all you want. You could, you know, keep talking about how this could easily hit a million dollars, $2 million in the contract. You could say all that stuff, all you want. Keep dreaming because that's all you've been doing because you always lose. That's the problem. You lose in the end and people like all your little cronies. Oh, by the way, congratulations to, um, what's that dude's name? Um, man, oh, that, that Jamie dude, all right? Got another admin job. Congratulations. All right. Swing that band hammer away, keyboard tough guy. That's what you are. Man, that Jamie dude, that's all he does is just do all the admin jobs and all the bloods, telegram groups, you know? So congratulations. You got another one. Whoopee. All right. And let's talk about other cronies, right? Like that Mitch bitch dude. So he commented on my Cash of X video, right? You know, he likes to say, oh, get your B&B ready, all that stuff, right? Oh, by the way, these are held in review. I don't put it in that. This is in the held in review section. Like this guy says, this broke ass loser wouldn't even have 0.01 B&B to invest in any project. Yeah. Yeah, tough guy. Uh, I got plenty of B&B, but definitely not in this project. You probably don't even have 0.01 B&B dude so just saying but um that's not the point i'm gonna go to the published part here so he says it's all tiwi's fault on this cash of x thing when i did my video um no because <laughs> his dumb ass was like oh about oh man oh man final mente final mente final mente <laughs> and look what happened it all went away you know final mente final mente final mente so i, I couldn't even put tiwi's name on this thing because his dumb ass didn't ride with cash effects saying, oh man, 20% of your withdrawals. Oh man, that's so much. That's too, too much. But yet he's charging 20% now. Good one, Mitch. <laughs> you know, it's like, this stuff is laughable. So I, I can't wait to see this burning tree burn down once again. Because you're going to keep saying, oh man, you're going to make money. You're going to make money. You know, put in what you can afford to lose. Yeah, you better because <laughs> you're definitely going to lose, people. And it's just going to take another one to happen again. Maybe not in 30 days. Maybe this one might last a little bit longer. But you guys are going to lose again because they're just one bad trade away. All right, this is all your funds this time. All right, there's a history of losing on the part of Fruit Boy here. All right, Fruit Boy has proven to lose in platforms, have proven to lose in bots, have proven to get wiped in shit coins. I mean, even in the most recent B&B &B contract, when you have decided to pull the contract, don't tell me it's because whatever lame excuse you're going to have, you lost, buddy. Zero sum game. And so, what's how is this going to be any different? Well... All I got to say is, let's see here, 10% is a lot to take for the team. 20% is a lot to take in overall. So now people are going to be trying to get 20%. How long is that going to take to cover 20% before they actually profit? Uh, it's going to be a while. And the way it is is always get in early because if you're the last one in, well, just ask those people that got into the last of the old B&B &B contract if they got anything out of it but dust money. So keep earning dust money for now because uh, that's what's going to happen. And uh, you never know. This thing might just burn down again. And wait for the shit coin to come. Oh, yeah. Definite loss once again.